Welcome to our head and neck physical assessment lesson. And the purpose of this video is to give you real world nursing education beyond just this nurse workbook. So when we think about our physical assessment, we want to continue with what we just learned about in our first lesson, keeping that systematic approach going. So anytime we're doing this head to toe full assessment, the first thing on our list is going to be our ABCs, our airway breathing circulation. If we have a cut on our face, if we have a cut in our neck, we really can't do much about this unless we have airway. Even if we have a pulse, our C, our circulation, we still can't do much if we don't have airway and breathing going on. So for this head to toe assessment lesson, we're gonna pretend that our ABCs are totally fine because we're gonna get into them so much more in these future lessons. And we're gonna go ahead and do our inspection, auscultation, our palpations, and we're gonna jump right into this. So as we do our head and neck assessment, the first thing we do is inspection. And inspecting is a word for looking. We're looking at what is in front of us. So we're gonna inspect the skull shape and size. And does it look well appearing? Do we see symmetry going on? Which is gonna be a really big theme in all of these assessment videos. Do we see any divots in our face? Do we see any deformities in our jaw? Overall, what does our head and neck look like? And here's that word symmetry. We're gonna look for this facial symmetry and facial strength. So even while I'm here talking to you, you can see the strength of my mouth moving. Is there any kind of unilateral situation going on where maybe one side of my mouth is not working as well as my other? We see this facial symmetry and strength by looking at our patients talking. We can ask them to smile and we're looking for any involuntary movements. Do we see any tremors going on inside their eyes? Are they blinking rapidly? And we're looking for those deformities. Is there any kind of deformity in that skull, face, or throat? kind of like the first thing we inspected. Are there any lumps? Do we see any trauma present? And is there any discharge or abnormalities going on? Do we see any bleeding out the nose or even discharge out of the ears? Do we see any eye mucus going on present or any eye drainage? So we'll look for this drainage all over. We're gonna look in our ears, our nose, our throat, mouth, eyes, lips, gums, teeth, tonsils, you name it. So after we did our looking, this inspecting, we're gonna start to assess. And looking at these eyes, we're gonna assess that pupil size, shape, and reactivity to light. We're gonna make sure the sclera looks like a beautiful white color and our conjunctiva. And conjunctiva is the lining of the eye. This is usually clear, there's no bleeding and no mucus present. When we assess our ears, we're gonna be looking for our patient's hearing. If they're having a hard time hearing us when we're whispering, we can do the old school way and use a tuning fork if needed, although that's not really as common these days. And we're gonna see if there's any wax or any debris inside the ear and look for any foreign bodies in there like a bug that could be lodged in there. And yes, this happens all the time. We're also gonna look in our nares. Is there that nasal symmetry going on? Do they have any obstructions, deformities, mucus or discharge or any bleeding, which is also a word we use, epitaxis. Epitaxis is a nosebleed. And is there any sinus tenderness? And in our infants, we also want to potentially suction out anything that could be blocking them. But when we do the suction, are we getting a lot of mucus out of them? Or are they kind of dry, hard boogers up there? And in nursing school, we're gonna be going over a few little extra tools that we can use to help these head and neck assessments. First, we're gonna look at this ophthalmoscope. This is gonna be checking the back of the eye. We're gonna be looking at the optic disc, the blood vessels for any spots or lesions present. And we're gonna be charting any abnormalities we see, any hemorrhages, excudates, vessel changes, optic nerve head abnormalities. For our ears, we're gonna use a tool called an otoscope and we're gonna look inside that ear canal. Is there a light pink tampanic membrane, which is that eardrum? Are there any holes that we see, any discs or bulges that are present? And we don't see any of those forward objects in there either. And for our nares, we can ask if they have any changes in their smell, any recent nosebleeds, sinus infections, and we can use the otoscope to actually look up these nares and look for symmetry and discharge. And there's so many things that our ears, eyes, and nose can give us information about. 
And we're going to talk so much more depth in all of these future videos. So even though we're not going into major detail in these assessment lessons, this is because we want to know what we're assessing, but all of these are going to be covered into great detail in our future lessons as you're following along. For this neck, we're going to do some anatomy up here and we're going to look for any jugular vein distensions. So we have two kinds of veins and our first one here is this IJ. This is an internal jugular vein. This is deeper inside of our neck. This is what central lines are going to be placed into. We also have an external jugular vein, and this is gonna be the vein that you're gonna see on a lot of people on the sides of their neck that bulge out. With JVD, we're gonna see this really fat external jugular vein. It's going to almost look like it's kind of crinkled up because there's so much pressure going in there when we're seeing this JVD present. We're also gonna palpate the carotid arteries. So we have these arteries that are also running inside our neck and they are very close to our veins as well. So when a provider is putting in that IJ or central line, or if we're doing an EJ, which is a IV that can actually be placed in the neck that nurses do and we do often in the emergency department, those arteries can be very close to it. So you have to be extremely careful. But an artery is what you're actually palpating. When you go to feel a pulse, you're feeling the artery that's pulsating. Veins do not pulsate. So we're gonna check that carotid artery pulse. And then we're gonna look at our trachea position. So this little green guy right here is going to be our trachea. And this is that airway. We wanna make sure that everything is nice and midline and that airway looks patent. We're gonna talk about more in our respiratory lessons about tracheal deviation, which is a sign of a pneumothorax that's emergent going on. And we're also gonna palpate our thyroid. And that thyroid gland is that nice little butterfly that sits in our neck. And we wanna make sure that we don't see any enlargement or nodules present. And this next block is highly covered in our respiratory anatomy lesson. So you can pause the video here and you can fill this in in your own terms, or you can continue to play the video where I'm going to fill this in for you. But if you're looking for more detail about this area of the neck, go ahead and jump to our respiratory anatomy lesson and you can learn all about it. This concludes our head and neck physical assessment. I'll see you in the next lesson.